Hey students and welcome back to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Eddie. In today's video lesson, I'll be discussing about the what reaction. Now, what is the what reaction? The what reaction is simply a reaction used during the production of our K. Now, how does the what reaction work? The what reaction works by reacting two moles of an alkyl halide two moles of an alkyl halide with two moles of sodium metal two moles of sodium metal now what is an alkyl halide basically if we recall alkane is a group of organic compounds basically also called paraffins now this is our key this is our key removal of one hydrogen atom from an alkane it forms an alkyl group removal of one hydrogen atom from an alkane forms an alkyl group and the alkyl group is represented with the symbol R. Now, what does the halide talk about? The halide group talks about an halogen, halogen, and it is represented with X, and the alkyl group is represented with the symbol R. So basically, R bond X forms the alkyl group, okay? Alkyl group reacting with two moles of sodium metal okay two moles of the alkyl group reacting with two moles of sodium metal it gives us an alkane now what is the reaction mechanism what is the reaction mechanism two moles of an alkyl group this is an alkyl group arrow bond x Reacting with two moles of sodium metal plus another mole, okay? X bond R, which is basically the alkyl halide, okay? Two moles of alkyl halide reacting to form, reacting with the sodium metal to form an alkane, okay? Plus sodium halide, okay? Now, this is how the reaction works. The two atoms of the halogen combine with the two moles of sodium, while the two alkyl group combine to form the alkane. Now, let's take an example. Let's say example one. Example one. For example, let's use an alkyl group like methyl. Methyl metal bonding to let's say bromine so this is metal bromide reacting with two moles of sodium metal plus another mole of metal uh, bromide okay which is uh, uh, br bonding to ch3 okay now what will be our product checking the reaction mechanism the two atoms of bromine combines with the two atoms of sodium so we get this as our product now the two alkyl group combine together to form the alkane so basically we have ch3 bonding to ch3 plus two moles of sodium bromide now this is the alkane form and what is the name of this alkane when we compress the formula we get c2h6 and C2H6 is called ethane. This is ethane, okay? The compound is called ethane. So basically, for the what reaction, two moles of an alkyl halide react with two moles of sodium metal to form alkane. Now, the alkyl halide can be in two forms, okay? The first form in which the alkyl halide can be will be in the symmetric form. That means the two alkyl group will be the same, as seen in this example. You can see the two alkyl group were the same. Now let's take another, another example. 
whereby the alkyl groups are different. So let's say, let's say, take this one to be methyl bromide. Methyl bromide reacting with two moles of sodium metal. Now let's take um, another example like ethyl bromide. This is ethyl bromide, okay? C2H5 combining with the bromine, which is the halogen, so it's called ethyl bromide. So what will be the, our product? Following the reaction mechanism, we get this as our product. And remember, the what reaction works in the presence of dry ether. The what reaction works in the presence of dry ether. So this will be our product, whereby the two atoms of bromine combine with the two atoms of sodium to form sodium bromide and the two halide, sorry, the two alkyl group combine together. So when we combine them, we get CH3 bonding to CH2 bonding to CH3 plus two moles of sodium bromide. So what is the name of this alkene? You can see it's a three carbon alkene. Three carbon alkene basically are called propane. Okay, so this is simply c 3 h 8 So basically, the alkyl halide can be in two forms. Can be in the symmetrical form, whereby the two alkyl group will be the same. As seen in this example, you can see the alkyl group is the same. But for the unsymmetrical alkyl halide, but for the unsymmetrical alkyl halide, okay, the two alkyl group were this different, okay? This one is methyl, this one is ethyl. So they work in the same pattern, but the alkyl group can sometimes be different, okay? That's for the unsymmetrical alkyl, alkyl halide, rather, whereby this is the symmetrical alkyl, alkyl halide. The symmetrical alkyl halide. Now, this is how the Watt reaction works, and this is the reaction mechanism for the Watt reaction. I believe now you now understand the concept about the Watt reaction, and don't forget to subscribe to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edu. Anticipate more videos, and thanks for watching.